right. Take a look at this. Tom Daschle owed $140,000 in taxes, no penalty. Tim Geithner, our Department of Treasury Secretary, owed $42,000, no tax penalty. Charles Rangel, a congressman from New York, owed $10,000 in taxes, no penalty. And Nancy Killifer, who was going to be the fat cutter czar at the White House, owed almost $1,000. No tax penalty. It's brilliant, isn't it? They all managed to avoid paying any of those penalties on taxes that they owed. So what makes them so special? Our next guest says, not much. Rich Boggs is the CEO of Nationwide Tax Relief, and he's joining us live right now from Los Angeles. Hey, Rich, uh, okay, so those were some, some uh, big shots in uh, Washington, D.C. Can we expect the same treatment if the IRS hauls us in and says, okay, you owe this much in back taxes. Are we going to have to pay penalties? Uh, in let, if you have a good attorney, uh, if you call some expert help, you can, uh, you can avoid penalties. Statutory additions are negotiable with the IRS. What is a statutory addition? Uh, penalties, uh, interest on principal, and okay. uh, interest on penalties or statutory additions. All yeah. that stuff all those guys owed, okay. And sometimes the penalties can be more than what's actually owed. You've got some tips about what to do if this is the case. You start with being proactive. So. Don't delay your reaction to this. C correct. The penalties and interest, first of all, as you said, are, are ghastly. We have clients that owe more in penalties than they do in taxes. Mm. If you wait, number two, you risk collection activity, liens, bank levies, wage garnishments. IRS can move in very quickly to collect. And three, waiting for the IRS to make the first move is always a less powerful spot to begin negotiating with the government. Right. We get the best results when we can step in quickly and before the IRS has come after one of our clients. Okay. Uh also, one of the tips I understand is, uh, you know, bankruptcy, not such a good idea. But uh, what if you, uh, let's face it, Rich, there are a lot of people who have lost their homes, out of work, stuff like that. If you're bankrupt and you can't pay it, then what happens to you? Well, the uh, IRS Commissioner Shulman three weeks ago announced a special leniency program, which is the biggest news out of the IRS's collection divisions in over 10 years. They're going to allow more leniency right now. Uh, specifically for homeowners that have no equity or have lost their homes. Okay, but, Rich, right. don't expect to get out of paying the money you owe. You might get out of the penalties, but not the initial amount, right? Right. There, there are lots of fly-by-night yeah. companies yeah. that we warn people against that promise everyone pennies on the dollar. Sure. And the fact is that it's, it's not common. It happens. Sure. Uh, we do get those kinds of settlements, 50 percent, 90 percent off their IRS debt. Uh, with the leniency right now sure. is happening even more, but Just it's, it's not it. every day. It's not common. Right. And the terms... The terms right. we can get okay, people to go, are often just as important as the total tax debt. He's the CEO of Nationwide Tax Relief out in L.A. Rich Boggs, we thank you very much. More Fox and Friends...